All right. Uh, hopefully the microphone is okay because I was messing around with the settings and I thought it sounded like crap. So I decided to uh, edit some settings and hopefully it's good. Uh, if it's like, if it's clipping or, you know, doing some distortion, I'm sorry, but, you know, I can't really uh, do anything about it right now since I'm recording. But yeah, I'm playing some Ace 3 VR and um, uh, not really doing any combat things today, but. What I usually do in my spare time is, uh, as you can see from my large vault, it's kind of frozen. Okay. As you can see from my kind of large vault. Oh, I still have some stuff there. Uh, I, uh, what I try to do is, is try to cut, uh, what I've been trying to do usually is try to customize every gun. So every, every gun, like say each one of these guns here, is saved with a like a custom kind of stuff that I that I do uh, when I'm bored, right? That that constitute a lot of my time in this game, but uh, yeah, so that's what I do. And uh, recently, after the new update came out, I went over, looked at some guns, added bipods where uh, some guns needed it, some guns didn't, whatever. So yeah, I just got through the battle rifles. I finished all the battle rifles all these each one of these has a let me check my battle rifles here here we go battle rifles each one of these has a customized version for me personally just what I feel is you know what I need but now I'm on to the anti-material and uh, you know since this update came out that's pretty good because uh, now we got the new bolting uh, mechanic so you can you quick bolting so I can try that out in the sniper range over here and I can customize guns, you know, while I'm doing it. So yeah, and we got the bolt actions left and I don't know if I'm going to do any of these other ones. Maybe I'll stop after the uh, bolt actions, but uh, yeah, let's uh, get started with the uh, Hecate 50 BMG. Uh, you know what? Before we do anything, let's clear this area. Clean all guns, magazines and melee get all these scopes out of the way because they will slow down the game trust me make sure I'm at the center of my play space here okay there we go just need to step to the side all right so uh, what I usually do uh, when I'm customizing guns well I spawn myself a spawn ammo spawn panel and with a new update this makes things a lot easier. I wish I had this when I was customizing the 300 or so guns that I have in my vault right now. But yeah, you've all seen this. This is the uh, new ammo panel. It looks really cool. And you can use a laser now instead of pressing things, <laughs> which would be really, which was really, I'll say it's really annoying because you would often mispress. You got these two little spheres here for interaction. And uh, that would do a lot of like miss mispresses because you would be pressing this, but then oops, eight millimeter Bergman. I'm sorry, didn't mean to get that. But yeah, so we got the new ammo, ammo spawner. And uh, oh, for this today, we're going to spawn the lockable platform because I'm going to be oops, sniping. This gun is so large, actually hits the roof. Okay. <laughs> Uh, ignore that. That's just a notification. I guess Windows is trying to tell me something. Okay. Back to customizing the guns. Let's get with the Hecate here. Spawn ourselves a magazine. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay. Oh, put that in the slot there. <clears throat> All right. For the Hecate, we got the 50 BMG. We'll just select held type. Automatically selects it. I love it. Thank you, Anton. Let's get the AP incendiary. And uh, yeah, I always, uh, I know I know a lot of people don't really like the AP incendiary, but I always select it for my, for most of the weapons that have it. Because I don't know. I just, you know, get the, I don't know if it's the best, but just get the best. All right, let's just spawn lock this and um, see what does this need? We need a scope we need a scope so 
All right, what scope should I get for this? Let's see, go to attachments. I can't do a muzzle device. If I remember correctly, this thing does not accept muzzle devices, but we'll try that out anyways and check. Nope, okay, does not. It already comes with a bipod, so I don't need to add one, which is pretty cool. Uh, I need a scope, I need a scope. So the default is eight by 32. I'm gonna go a little more crazier and get the 12 by 60. Stick that on the rail there. Let's uh, try it out. I mean, the the uh, the scope is a little too small in the back there, but I mean, I can manage, it's, it's okay. I just need to put my face closer to it. And we got the new bipod mechanic here that uh, you can kind of moves around a lot more easier. It's all dependent on uh, position instead of like controller position, uh, controller facing. So I can turn my controller all the way and uh, it'll just snap if you get to a threshold or something like that. All right, let's, uh, and you can actually, you can actually adjust on the fly now, which is pretty nice. Let's say like you want to hit a target in the back there or you're aiming at the ceiling. Let's just move the uh, panel down a bit. Now we have a good position here. All right, that is good. Let's uh, bump up the magnification all the way to 60. 60 times, Oop, that's a little too much. Oh yeah, this is pretty good. It's 400 meters, man. We're gonna do some long range shots. All right. Um, oh yeah, one 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 fun thing I found out uh, from the subreddit and uh, the Discord and all the other places like the Steam Bug Forums is that the Hecate can actually. Well, this is not a uh, normal thing for the Hecate. The the large anti material rifles you cannot quick bolt them, but somehow there's a bug in the game right now due to the new quick bolting system. You can actually quick bolt. <laughs> Well, these uh, large anti-material rifles, so... Yeah, I'm going to take advantage of that right now. I'm not going to use it in take and hold or anything like that, but... Uh, right now, since I'm just customizing, where, where is the... Oh, it's a lot harder to do standing up. Alright, I need to find the tree. There's the tree. Ooh, man, this is this is tough. You know what? I'm going to take this scope off. Magnification is a little too high. Let's change to something a little bit more reasonable, a little bit more manageable. Let's go with the um, 8x32. I kind of like the eyepiece on this one. It's a lot more bigger. It doesn't uh, It's not as small as that tactical... You can see a lot more. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's great. That is a good look. Bump this up to 32 times. All right. Be, I might be able to hit that 400 meter. I can just steady this. Oops, safety is not on. I missed. All right, well, you know what? Let's make this a little easy on our uh, ourselves. Let's stick a, get that off. Let's stick a laser at the end here. Ooh. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Whoop. Wait a minute, what's going on there? That is strange. Now I have a dot on my scope. It should have been... Okay, that's not going to work out, is it? Let's put it over here. Oh, that's... Oh, okay. Well, you know, the laser doesn't account for bullet drops, so this is going to be really tough. I don't know why I decided to stick a laser on this thing. Oh, 
I forgot the quick bolt, which you can't do again. Not an intended. Man, it is so hard to, to snipe in this game. Okay. It's hard to snipe in general, you know? I mean, much respect to those guys. They're really good at what they do. Because this is hard. Okay. Oh, I just lost my target. Okay. Well. Hmm. Is that laser actually like... I thought the laser would shrink. Alright, this laser idea was a bad... This is a bad idea. Let's not use the laser. Okay. Oh my god. This is so tough. Okay. You're going to spend like an hour watching me trying to fiddle with this thing. Oh my god, I missed. All right, hold on. Ooh, this is this is tough. All right, let's just do this this way. Oh, forgot to. Oh my goodness, I am just a terrible sniper, aren't I? I gotta work on my sniping skills. Not get it that time. Oh. Uh, okay. I'll try again one more time. even worse when you take it off the bipod, huh? All right, let's go for something a little closer. This is, uh, this is a little too hard, honestly. Let's go for 250 meters. Oh, I got it. Nice. Ooh, okay. It doesn't help that my air conditioner is pointed straight at my my body, and I am really cold right now, so uh, my hands are shaking. Okay, um, 250, right? 250. Come on. I got to get used to this new bipod. Mechanic. I'm so used to the old one where you could use the controller to just point, right? But this one, it's a little tougher. Oh my goodness, I'm just not doing too well. <laughs> this is tough. Need more practice with the sniping. Got that, they got that one lucky hit on that tree at 250. <sighs> okay, I need to breathe. Calm myself down. Light that bottom one. Oh, I forgot to bolt another round. I'm so terrible at this. And I forgot my my uh, elevation, so I am I'm done. I don't know what which one it was. I think it was this one. Uh, between the first and the second mill dot, I think. That's what those are called. I don't know. I don't know sniping, so. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay. I need to calm myself. I got it. I did it. <laughs> Trying to hit that, that bottom on that tree. 
And I also need to stop closing my other eye because my face is getting really cramped up. Relax. Relax yourself. No, I'm not going for the bottle. Stop aiming for the bottle. Oh, man. Errant breath. Errant breath right there. Oh. Oh, well, I'm out of ammo for that. But you got the idea. I'm a terrible sniper. <laughs> All right, so. Yeah, let's just put another round in there. Let's actually fill this held object. And um, I'm going to not put the laser on this thing because that would be kind of weird. But let's vault this baby. Go to our anti-material. I have this. I don't know when I did that. I think... Let me check. Hold on. Whoops. The 21st of October? Remember December. Yeah. So last year, huh? I don't know. Did I really make this? Oh, looks like a standard... Oh, well, it does have the bomber muzzle brake on it, so... I'm going to have to delete this one. Because... Oh, actually, no. Wait. Oh, no. This one looks like it's okay. I mean, it does have a laser sight, which is kind of weird, but uh, yeah, we'll get to that one in a minute. All right, so let's go to the next anti-material rifle, which was uh, that one. Let me do the Chaytac first. All right, 408 Cheyenne. Oh, let's get rid of this. Oops, what I wanted to do. Okay. I believe this one I think could also quick bolt, but I am not sure. Okay. Right. Oh, yep. This one's bugged too. You could also quick bolt it. Uh, what do I need for this? I need a scope. So let's go with a. Uh, what do we use? The 1x24? Yeah, I think I'll stick with the 1x24 for this one. Let me just stick that on there and then get that proper eye relief. From what I've heard, it's pretty close to your face, but not too close that when the gun recoils. Oh, this one shouldn't because uh, they have some systems for that. Okay, let's just uh, test this out. Put this on fire. And we'll go with a closer target. Let's go with uh, 100 meters. Let's shoot this watermelon here. Ooh, nice. Let's go down the line and shoot these watermelon. Oh, okay, hold on. I need to actually stand a little closer to the uh, rifle. <laughs> Since these are so close, I don't have to uh, put elevation on them. Oh. Ah, uh, bolt actions. Don't you just love them? Okay, got it. Okay, moving over to the next watermelon. 100 meters. This is. Oh, no. I'm going to adjust this. Actually, I actually need to find a good spot. This is a lot. Oops. Which one is this? Oh, this is the closest one. Fine. Fine. Whatever. 50 meter tree.
Okay. Oh, are we out? We are out. Hey, let's put another magazine in there. Ah. I believe I missed. I missed. There we go. Finally. Three more targets. One more target. Whew. Okay. Uh, I'm just stretching my body out here. This is uh, hunching over, right? To to look through the scope is very act is actually pretty tiring. <laughs> All right, this is the 100 meter, okay. So sooner or later, the wind, the elevation starts being uh, a factor, but... Oh, that was just a little to the left. Oh, out. Come on, a little bit. Oh. Oh, man. Yeah, it's starting to get a little harder. Let's move the, uh, let's get the zoom on there. Oh. All right, one more magazine before I, uh, put this, uh, insanity. <laughs> uh. I got it. I got it. 250 meters. Ah, oh, man, I missed. Ah. Oh. Okay, hold on. Okay, I need to uh, relax myself. Let's move this a bit higher. Oh, God, I missed. Well, I'm kind of a... Uh... I don't know, it's just, it's funny. There we go. We're starting to get a little more distance, so I have to elevate by, I think, one pip or whatever. One dot. Yeah, we got it. Okay. I think I got it. Oh, well, that ends our watermelon spree. Okay, then. Uh, oh, yeah, this one I can customize. Let me just uh, grab this, select held type, AP incendiary, because I can. All right, let's take this and let's add some other stuff to the uh, gun here uh, uh well you know what let's put a laser on this thing just because i can how does that look oh yeah lasers aren't really useful on a sniper rifle maybe i might just take it off i've never well you know what i always thought the lasers actually worked but uh 
Maybe that was a long time ago. Maybe they got changed. I don't remember. All right, muzzle device. Let's try to add something here. Let's add a... Hmm. How does this one look? I kind of like the light gray. Or sorry, the dark gray against the, the white here. Seems pretty cool. All right, let's put one in the chamber. And let's fill the held object here. So we got a full magazine. Oh, did I? Oh, 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 oh. I think, yep, yeah, I screwed it on. Okay, should be good. Let's go to the vault and let's scan this baby in. Let's uh, I'll play around with this. Okay, we've got it chambered, nice and ready to go. Safety is off. Okay. Let me see if I can just hit a target here. This is on 32X. Let's go with a far target. Actually, I am moving from the center of my play space, which is really funny for some reason. Let me try to hit the 400 meter. I think if I remember correctly, it was the second dot, right? Second. Ah, oh, goodness, I missed. Okay. Hold on. Oh, this is hard. It's hard to do. I got it. All right. Well, I'm not going to spend too much time on this since I've already saved it. But, yeah. We want to get to the uh, bolt actions as well, so. Let's go with a... Oh, yeah. Well, these aren't... These aren't rifles. This is the triple regret. I do not think... I don't think there's a... Uh, You can attach anything to the triple regret. Let's spawn one more. This one takes three. Three 50 BMG rounds. All right. Well, let's see what we can attach to this thing. I don't think we can attach anything, if I remember correctly. Let me just start off with a sight. No, you cannot do that. And I definitely don't think you can attach a muzzle device to this. But we're going to try anyways, because why not? Nope, you can't. Uh, what about a stock? Can we put a stock? I think we can. Yes, we can. Okay. TSAG. Oh, wait a minute. I need to spawn three of these. One, two, three. Okay. Oh, oh no. Oh, those two are just going to be there for today. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, you can't really do much with a... Uh... With this uh, weapon because you can't add too many things to it, but a stock is one of them. I don't know if I want the uh, TSAG. Oops. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Let's go with uh, Bergman. See how that looks. Is that gonna... There it is. Mm, I'm not really uh, fond of, like, the wood with the... Uh... I like wood stocks, but that's just not gonna work. What about the wire stock from the Mod 22? Oh, the Mark 22, sorry. Hmm, maybe. Or maybe.
No, that's not. That, that looks terrible. The vector stock. Uh, well, maybe the GLR 40. Or 40, sorry. Adjustable. Yeah, I think I'll go with this. Then we'll just uh, stick this in there. And, well, we can't do much with it, so let's just save that in the vault. All right, cool. Then the final anti-material uh, weapon is the Whizbanger. Great April Fool's edition from uh, Anton, which actually uh, has a rail now. Last time I saw it, uh, it didn't have a rail. But I was, yeah, I was just thinking, why should I save this? Because usually you can't save the mallet when you uh, do the Whizbanger. Which you need, but you don't really need it. You just, uh... Oops, nope, I don't want to do that. Let's get one, because you only need one. 50 caliber round. <laughs> okay, cool. That's the whiz banger for you, but it does have a rail, so we can uh, do lots of stuff with it. Let's, uh... Let's grab an attachment. Let's uh, let's get a stock here. Let's try the uh, EP2000. It's a pretty good stock, right? And then, um, since this has a rail on it, let's do some unique things. If you didn't know how to do this, well, you're about to see how you can. You take one of these uh, handgun adapters, and then you stick it on there like so this way or the other way? It was the other way, right? Yeah. Oops, come on. You can do it. I believe in you. Oh, come on. Don't... Oh, come on. You can do it. Okay, that's, uh... I guess that's close enough. Right? Oop. That's not good. Come on. Alright, well, I mean... Mm. Let's move this a little, a little more. Let's make it uh, line up. There we go. All right, let's extend this a little bit. Uh, I think it was this way, right? Do this. Oh well, no, that's a pretty bad idea. No, let's not do that. I think that would be okay. Doesn't mess with it too much. Although, you can do this. Seems okay, I think. If I do it like a canted rail, hmm. Will that interfere with the bullet? Maybe not. You know what? I'm not going to put a sight on this thing. What I am going to do is I'm going to put a rail adapter. Let's try a rail extender long. Let's put this on the thing there. Hmm, maybe not. No, no, no. Let's not do that. Oop. Let's not do that either. I don't know why I did that. That's pretty bad. I don't do that either. These things are really finicky. I mean, you just got to do it correctly. <laughs> Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> well, let's not put a bullet in there <laughs> while doing that. All right. I think this is pretty good like this. Although, I want to try putting a rail extension there and seeing if that will affect the bullet at all. Oh yeah, that affects the bullet. And it just explodes in your face. But I also want to do, um, whatchamacallit, 
you can actually add a um, <clears throat> you can actually add a muzzle a device. You can extend the barrel, uh, which should be okay. There we go. So this can be a lot longer. Turn into an actual gun. And then we should add, let's see, what can I add? Should I add a suppressor? Now let's try that. I actually want to do the Nagant suppressor because it's small and unassuming. <laughs> you barely even heard that. And maybe, let's see, hold on. If I add a laser sight, I won't, I, I won't really need the use of a reflex sight or a scope. No, I don't want there. I want it inside. Come on. Nope, I don't want that there. Oh, man. Hold on just a second. Ugh. Before I do anything, let's just uh, this and then oh, this is all right. That didn't work, I think. Nope. Was it this way? I think it was this way, right? Come on, you can do it. You can do it. There we go. All right. Perfect. Just need to move this laser sight a bit forward. Or no, not for. Well, yeah, I'll move it forward. To cover up. Oh, nope. I didn't want to do that. Just a little forward. There we go. So we got laser sight now. So we don't really need to uh, put a scope on it or anything. So uh, test this out. Oh, actually, there is a watermelon there. Let's move this out of the way. If we can hit it. Ah, I got it. <laughs> oh man, this game is it's really good. All right. Um I have no idea what else I want to put on this thing, so let's see if I can just see if this works. Will this work? All right? Let's see if this messes with the uh, gun. Oh, still works. Okay. Oh, actually, you know what? Since that works, let's make let's make this uh, let's make this interesting. Let's stick a scope on this thing. Oh, this is gonna be a little tough, but I think I can get it. There we go. Okay, that's just gonna look really weird, isn't it? I need I need a scope that's a little higher on the. Uh... Oh yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, this is this is looking good right here. This is looking excellent. Let's pull this out. Stick that in there. Hmm. It needs to be a lot more stable, so let's add a, well, hold on. Just a second. Let me uh let me add something here that will probably not no, that's not gonna work. Is it? Well, you know what? Hold on. We've got other things here. Let's do a rail axis tilt. All right, let's move it out over here. Let's do another rail axis tilt. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, yep, 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 yep. No, 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 no. 
Let's do a uh, rail axis shift. Let's do this. Let's move this down. Oh, come on. You can do it. There we go. Uh, no, that looks like a terrible idea. We'll go back to the rail axis tilt here. And then we're going to, you know what, let's put it, let's put a bipod. Let's, let's just stick a bipod on there and see what it looks like. That is a little too small. Hold on just a second. I want to move this. Um, I want to move this. Just a second. Okay, there we go. That seems like a good distance, right? Oh, um, hold on just a second. <laughs> Put another round in there. This is going to be pretty tough because I got to hit this thing. Let's shoot that box over there. See that box right there? Oh, I missed. Yeah, this is terrible. Oh, actually, you know what? What am I doing? Hold on. This is on a bipod. If I just get the bipod on the right spot, lock it into place. And then hit the hammer. There we go. It's not really effective against moving targets, but uh, you know, yeah, that'll, that'll work, right? Okay. I could go further with this, but um, well, you know, I don't have that much time, so I'm just gonna leave this at this. And, uh, yeah, I can't save the hammer with it, which is kind of a shame, but, uh, it's all right. I'm just going to save this and maybe play around with this a uh, little uh, next time, probably add some stuff to it. But, uh, that's just the beginnings of a, a monstrosity that I usually make. All right. Whiz banger. Bar saved. All right. So that should be the anti-materials. I want to check how much time I have because I don't want to spend like an hour doing this. Oh man, 43 minutes already. Did I just waste all that time? Uh, you know what? Let's just keep going and um, whatever happens, happens. So we got the uh, Arctic Warfare Magnum. I forgot what this stood for. I, I, I know it is the op, but... Uh, Okay, we'll just uh, we'll do this really fast. Uh, like field type, AP incendiary. All right, we can stick a bipod on this thing. Let's just get a default scope for it. Oops, nope. There we go. And uh, let's see. should I put on this thing? I like the, uh, whatchamacallit, the fluting? Is, is, is that what it's called on the barrel? And I think the Co-Ray suppressor looks pretty good with this. So I'm going to stick this on there. It's not the exact same kind of, like, uh, cuts they have. But, uh, I don't know, I just like the, uh, sort of look to it. So I'll just use that, and uh, this one needs a bipod as well, so let's grab ourselves a bipod. There. Three, four. And let's shoot ourselves some targets. out. 
All right, cool. Wait a minute. This one does not have AP incendiary. All right. Let's put this in the spawner. Let's vault that. And uh, we'll do one more gun. Let's do one more. I want to check the time here. Can't really see out of my headset. 45. All right. I think it said 45. <clears throat> some of the... Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention that some of these guns are kind of bugged. The um, the quick bolting doesn't go all the way on some of them, which uh, kind of sucks. But, hey, you know, I mean, Anton will fix that. Like, uh, for example, this one. You'll notice. Stick this magazine in there. Do the quick bolting. It doesn't go back all the way. You have to pull it back even more. So, that's a little bug, but that'll be fixed. Don't worry about that. What should I choose next? I already showed off some of these. I do like the Delisle carbine. Hmm. Should I... Well, you know what? Let's not use that magazine. Since we're since I'm making some uh, monstrosities here, let's use the uh, extra extra large magazine from the Dillinger. It kind of glitches through the uh, through the the magwell there, but I mean, look at this. Come on. <laughs> uh, I can't. I don't think I can. Oh wait, hold on. No, wait. I just want to try one thing before I stop this. Let's go to magnifier scope. Let's go to the take the uh, Enfield scope here. Let's see if this works. I don't think it does. Hmm, maybe not. I thought it would, but it doesn't. Which is a shame, but that's all right. And I don't need to put a suppressor or anything since this is an integral suppressor. Oh, I can't put a bipod on this thing, huh? Well, that's too bad. <laughs> All right. I'll go with uh, plus P, overpower, uh, overpressure, sorry, overpower. Armor piercing incendiary. Oops. I was like, why am I dropping magazines? No, that was the um, the shell casings are hitting the magazines. Hold on, just a second. I need to get closer. Oops. Am I out already? Oh, I'm out. Well, that's not good. I didn't spawn lock it. Oh, that magazine just exploded that watermelon. Oh, yeah, if you guys didn't know, there's a downstairs part to this place. And there's also this gate here, which... Actually, let me try something. Nope, just empty, empty void. All right. That's how you get through walls in this game. You switch to teleport mode and then just stick your head into places you shouldn't, you shouldn't be. Oh, let's try this door here. Nope, nothing. Okay. All right, where was I? Let me, let me fill this held object up. It'd be nice if I had a scope for this. But, uh, yeah. Eh, that's all right. This is more of an up-close-and-personal weapon. But, <laughs> that magazine's sticking out. All right, I'm going to save that in the vault. 
And I think, well, oh, I've already saved a, well, this one's an old one since it doesn't have the bipod, so let's get rid of that. All right, we'll do one more. Let me, let me do one more bolt action. Uh, again, some of these don't work. I think the Super Shorty and the uh, Tactical 84000, 8400, sorry, uh, they're broken. think yep yeah it doesn't go all the way so we'll ignore that for now the scout I think is also also broken yeah it doesn't go back all the way now, there's a list already Anton already knows try the model 70 oh this one works okay hold on just a second oh wait a minute I need to spawn a clip for this I think there's a scope that goes on this, if I'm not mistaken. Let me check the uh, scopes here, magnifier scope. It is the Model 8, was it? I think it was the Model 8. No, it was not. Okay, that's not the right one. I'm trying to remember. There's so many, there's so many things here. Uh, was it the 1903? No. Or was it? I'm thinking of something else. Hold on. Nineteen. Oh, there's the 1903. Let's go with that for right now. Because the scope for this 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 weapon is is pretty ludicrous. Hold on. Does this work? Oh, it does. Okay. All right, so let's find that scope. Let's see, scope is in here, 1903. Oh, didn't I spawn it already? I thought I did. It's not here anymore. I'm just gonna stick this. Where does this go? There it is. There is the scope. Remember, wait, can I? No, I can't, okay. I thought I could use the um, floating table uh, to brace myself, but I guess I can't. I, yeah, that's right. I tried this already. You can't do it. All right. Well, we're just going to have to uh, wing it here. Oh. Uh, well, this is uh, the safety off. can't do that either it just vibrates the gun okay this is gonna be interesting ah, I got it all right that's that's enough for me right there <laughs> just to get one is uh is already satisfying so let me see if I can put a muzzle device on this thing probably a maxim silencer I kind of like these on older weapons Ooh, yeah that seems to work Pretty nicely. Hmm, not bad. Not a bad looking gun. That long scope is, oops, do that. Cool, let me just, uh, okay, let's save that in the vault. Oop. I can't do much anything else. There's no rails on this thing. Uh, that scope is bespoke, so it's made for it. So, Unless... Unless... Let's try one more thing before I stop this. Let's add a... Add a let's try... Let's see if this, this works. Yeah, no, it doesn't work. Okay, so put this back. Okay, there we go. Save this in the vault. Scan that. 
you know what? Let's let, let me try one more gun here. <laughs> this that's the that's the that's the power of this game, right? Like, oh, one more gun. You know, I'm ready to I'm ready to quit, but then. So yeah. Anyways, we get the uh, K98. Uh, just. Oh wait, did I? Uh... Oh, did I not? Hold on. Oh, I did. Oh, you get the tracers here. Okay, fill this, and then let's grab that scope. The uh, K K98 here. This one goes there. Did I get it? No, I missed. There we go. A lot better, uh, a lot better scope here. Oops, I hit the center pole there. Oh no, that round is trapped. <laughs> the round just like, the empty, empty shell casing just gets trapped. There we go. All right, that's pretty cool. Fill this with uh, tracers. Because I'm a heathen. <laughs> uh, what else? Can I put a muzzle device on this thing? Let's try a uh, short B. Oh, I can. Oh, let me just make sure I got that on there. All right, looks pretty good. We'll save that. Okay. And you know what? Let, let me do one more. One more one more weapon. Let's see uh what do I what do I do here? Which one am I going to pick? Hmm. Got the um the Mosin. Got several of them. Hmm. Jungle carving. No, maybe not the jungle carving. Let's do the, uh, let's do the, hmm, maybe not. M40? No. Oh, man. Hmm, which one should I use? No, I already did that in a previous video. Well, I didn't customize it, but I shot it. Arcano? I think I showed that off. Yeah, well, I mean, some of these are kind of bugs, so that's why I don't want to use them. You know what? That's all right. I actually want to check out one of my other... Oh, there's stuff here. I have, uh, because I, I built some of these, like, for example, the battle rifles. I, I made some of them more long range. Was this again? Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this one's lagging out. Oh, yeah, that's right. I made this one into a long range, uh, long range bastard. <laughs> sure, sure. What else did I make? Some of these are kind of kind of strange. What was this? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this one uh I yeah, I think I I tried to make a PSG one, but it was terrible. So yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother with that. Oh yeah, the M14, my greatest masterpiece. <laughs> this looks absolutely terrible. I actually got yeah, I used the pistol, uh, uh, whatever whatever it's called. I can't remember what it's called. So I could get a rail under here, and I'll stick a bipod there. But then I decided to add the oil filter suppressor to the end of it. <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking sometimes. 
But yeah, this one I think is set on full auto for some reason. Oh nope. There we go. So if you wanted to be a long range sniper, but then like uncontrolled uh, recoil, but silent at the same time, then this is your weapon right here. I think I got him. I <laughs> don't know if I did. What else did I do? Hold on, hold on. Oh, the uh, the M1 Garand is uh, is basic. It's pretty basic. It's got the uh, got the uh, little sight, uh, little scope there. That's not really that special. What did I do with this? Yeah, that was. Huh? Oh, no, I did add one of those uh, pistol extender thingies. Uh, what is this? Oh, man. Some of these are... Hey, hey, I remember this. I think I made this on, on uh, recording. Did I make this on recording? It's not as crazy as some other people's... Uh, anyway, this is not... Oh, this does have... It's not as crazy as some other people's creations. They usually add, like, other barrels and stuff, but I wanted to do, like, this for some reason. Oh, this one doesn't... Yeah. That's one one thing about the item uh, vaulted guns is that grenade launchers don't come with their things. I don't know. What, get, get out of there. What else did I make? Uh, liver actions. Did I ever... No, I didn't. I don't think I did anything crazy with those. Let's see. What did I do with the, uh... Oh, I have two SCXs for some reason. This was my original, previous version. And this is the updated one. Because... <laughs> I don't know why. Sure, why not? Uh, what else did I do? I have like two R8s for some reason. Oh, this is just a basic one. I don't know why I have that one. This one has like flashlight and a laser for no reason. <laughs> oh, this one's my favorite. You know how hard it is to get that suppressor onto this gun? I mean, hold on. Of that yeah you try putting a suppressor on there you can't even get it in there oh yeah that's just insanely hard I don't know how the how the hell I got this suppressor on there look at that your controllers are colliding you can't do anything about it anytime you grab it oh I think I know how I did it yeah that's how I did it oops I didn't mean to do that that's one way to do it. I think the other way was to. Um, I'm kind of I'm kind of disappointed I didn't uh, I didn't uh, trick this out as much. But you can actually put a barrel extender on it. You just need to do the same thing. Oops! Come on, there we go. And then you can add a suppressor. But I kind of like it just the suppressor by itself because it looks. It looks pretty... Goodness, hold on. Nope, I can't do that. There we go. But yeah, so... Basically this, and then... Just do this. Little tiny, tiny, tiny pistol. Love that. Uh, it's not... I mean, I think people have done that all as well, but... Uh, Oh, what else did I do? Oh yeah, did this. Yeah, not special. Get rid of that. Did I do anything for this? Oh, I did. Huh. 
Oops, this one is uh, also bugged. Yeah. The, uh, the Sako is also bugged as well, so... Doesn't go all the way. I have two Volcanics for some unknown reason. I think I should delete one. They're both the same, they're all full. And you can't add anything to them, so whatever. Wait, hold on. Hold on, wait a minute. Reach loading, no. Lever, oh yeah, there's only one lever action. Uh, what else did I do? I don't remember all the guns that I saved. Oh yeah, these, uh, yeah, I don't know why. But you just changed the ammo, you can't add anything to them. Wait, hold on. No, yeah, because they're double barreled. Oh, you can't suppress double barreled. Well, actually, I want to try something. Let me uh, see if this will work. I don't think it will work, but uh, let's just pull out a silencer here. No, you can't. Can't suppress that, so, yeah. But I just, you know, put special ammo in them. Uh, let's see. Nope. Oh, yeah, this one has a scope on it. Um, what did I do with this one? Oh, yeah, that's also another bug. You can't pick up certain weapons for some reason. Anton, I think, knows about it already. This one has, uh... I remember this one. This one has, uh... Backup iron sights. For some reason, I decided to put backup iron sights on this. So now you got a laser sight, you got your red dot, and then you got your uh, backup iron sights. <laughs> it's so stupid. Oh, man. Oh, also this. The, uh, car key. Which is also empty. Yeah, it's really dumb. Oh, what did I do with this? Oh, yeah, that's right. I made this monstrosity for some reason. Fire slugs. Okay, um. What did I do with, uh, oh yeah, I did the uh, lever actions. I think I put bayonets on some of these. I have two of these, I don't know why. I'll delete this one. But they have little bayonets on them. I think you saw them before. Hmm. So machine guns, did I do anything crazy? Oh man, what did I do? I think, yeah, oh yeah. No, you guys saw the uh, Half-Life. Uh, MP5, right? Yeah. Pretty much, I think that's how it looked, right? Yeah, no, not, not, it's okay. It's not, uh, I, I just wish that, uh, the, uh, the Mac-10, uh, shroud was a little, uh, was a little shorter, because, again, the, the shroud in, in the game and, uh, in the movie End of Days, Kind of matched along with the barrel here, or the uh, under barrel grenade launcher. But, uh, yeah. What else did I do? I, I remember making some really funny, funny things. Nope, that's pretty standard. PSH uh, has a grenade launcher on it. All modern. Hmm. What was this? Uh, that's, that's just garbage. Wood furniture. Oh yeah, I put a <laughs> put a what you call it aim point with a magnifier. That one's kind of dumb. Uh, what else? What else kind of uh, stupid stuff did I make? Did I? Oh, I did, didn't I? Oh yeah. There's no there's no point to uh, there's no attachment point in the uh, bottom of the honey badger, so I used a uh, pistol extender. And now we've got uh, bipod on this thing. Let's just drop that in there. P90? I didn't do anything. I kind of made this uh, this weird little uh, housing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's this? Oh my goodness. I went a little ham on the uh, pistol, a rail extender. 
<laughs> for the QC9. There's like how many of those? Four of those? Oh, three big ones and one small one. Yeah, I made a little housing for the uh, the square suppressor. Blocky suppressor, that's what it's called. Whoa. I don't know what happened there. Something lagged out. Oh, I love this one. This is this is the dumbest thing I've made ever. Since there's no rail at the top, and I didn't feel like doing an offset rail or something, I just placed it on the side. <laughs> used the, uh, whatchamacallit, I used a couple, I think two uh, 90 degree rails, uh, uh, adapters. So now you've got like a little side sight, and then you got the iron sights here. <laughs> it's kind of dumb, but. <clears throat> what do I do with this? No, this is basic. That's not really... Oh, I put a stock on that thing. I forgot about that. What else? AS Val. Treated it as like a standard... Uh, what should we call it? Assault rifle. Or, no, this is the, these are the carbines, right? Uh-oh, I think I froze the game. I froze the game for some reason. It's... Oh, nope, it's back. Okay. Oh, these are the carbines. Okay. So, yeah. I don't know why that was set on uh, semi-auto, but... Uh... And then... Whoa, okay. The uh, VSS Vinteres. I turned it into a sniper kind of thing. The... Oh, this is... Uh... There we go. I don't know why I saved it like that. <laughs> What else did I do? Oh man. Any other unique unique weapons here? Hmm, trying to remember. 36. That's kind of basic. The Kalishna Luger. Oh yeah. If you guys didn't know, you could actually add the uh grenade launcher to the uh, Kalishna Luger. I saw somebody point that out. I was like, I thought people knew that, but uh, I guess they didn't. So, got the Bling 45, which looks uh, insane. Well, I gotta scratch my nose here. Oh, all right. G36. I'm trying to look at some that have like a lot of parts to them, but I don't see any. Yeah, I think that's about it for today. I mean, just uh, playing around the the uh, bolt actions. Come on, there we go. Put that in there, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's about it. I think I probably oops, probably wasted a lot of time there. But uh, where is my chair? I need to find you. Uh, like I said, yep, yeah, that's it, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.